Um, hello, everyone, and uh, thank you very much for your attention. It's good to be here. I've got some very unillustrative but very snazzy slides, I can promise you. So uh, we all know that the financial services industry is facing some very significant challenges. Those challenges extend to the businesses, the operations, the operating models, and uh, the whole gambit of financial services, really. And what is the primary cause of this challenge? It is really the pace of technological advancement. The task of an exchange company, of an exchange group, is to maintain and grow trust in, as well as accountability for, the functioning of our system, of our markets system. Deutsche Börse is a company that understands both the challenges as well as this task very well. And it is therefore that we develop and deliver innovative solutions to our clients, to our customers, to our regulators, and the system that we serve. How do we do this? In general, we like to do this delivery, this development in collaboration, in collaboration with our customers in general, as well as nascent fintech companies. And we do this all along the value chain. In fact, Deutsche Börse's story is one of collaboration. Collaboration with innovative startups as well as large established players. With customers, with politicians, with regulators. This is our way to succeed. Since we electronified our options and uh, futures business more than 20 years ago, we have developed a very strong historical track record of, some would say, A, others would say, the financial market infrastructure provider for innovations. We've delivered a technology stack that serves as platform solutions, product services in such a way that has now become the hallmark, the characterization of how a capital markets value chain ought to be organized. By now, of course, electronic platforms and networks are ubiquitous. They are the new normal. Today, global capital markets are a vast network of financial institutions, regulators, investors, and recipients of debt and equity capital. It is digital marketplaces such as Deutsche Börse, which serve as the primary node in this network. As we continue to learn how to deploy this system, this network infrastructure, we are, of course, concurrently raising the bar for the entire industry. An illustration thereof is product delivery speed. The delivery of new products and services is measured today in our industry in days or hours. Not so long ago, it was measured in years. This new system of how to do things is very inspiring. It inspires us at Deutsche Börse Group, as I'm sure it inspires a lot of other market participants. It inspires us to use new technology and approach things in a different entrepreneurial spirit. Now, what do market solutions in a fully digitized world really look like? Well, first of all, it is fundamental 
that they provide integrity, transparency, and reliability for the customer base that uses it. I'll give you an example. We make use of the public and hybrid cloud to develop new and exciting delivery models in order to improve significantly security, reliability, and resiliency for our clients. Deutsche Börse partners up with people external to our firm in order to enhance network security and robustness. In a time where DDoS attacks rise in both frequency and intensity, it is essential for us, we believe, to build bigger and better infrastructure able to partner with third parties in order to defend ourselves and the system as a whole. Thankfully, even in times of unpleasant stress, our system's availability has always been maintained at above 99.9%. Another example, the delivery of new innovative services via APIs in order to reduce application complexity allows ourselves to open ourselves up in order for our customers as well as companies in the ecosystem to share all the fruits and benefits from joint collaboration. Our App Store-like ecosystem affords our partners with the opportunity to share in the revenues and benefits derived from a complex infrastructure designed and built by us in order to enable both the largest of our customers as well as the smallest and nimblest of nascent fintech startups. We build and operate bigger and bigger ecosystems. We continuously add new products and services. And to such an extent that we are surprised ourselves many times that the revenue potential from doing this far outweighs what we could do by ourselves alone in terms of our own innovation efforts internally. So I think our whole dictum, our whole answer, our whole approach to this technological challenge, to this technological advancement and its overwhelming pace is one of creating and providing a network of market opportunities for all to share in. Another example, and Carlo is here with you, we've added recently a company to our group uh, by the name of 360T, one of the most uh, promising fintechs that Europe has ever produced. It is an electronic FX trading platform. The development of new product as a group via user experience improvements, via user interface, via APIs, has already been demonstrating in the short period of time that we've had together a revenue growth potential that far outweighs what we had thought possible prior to this coalition. Further, we've invested in uh, Digital Asset Holdings, which is a blockchain application initiative dedicated to the financial services industry. We've created our own corporate venture activity. The platform is called DB1 Ventures, and our vision and hope is to become the strategic partner of choice for early to growth stage companies that are core or adjacent to our own strategy that offer attractive investment returns and that provide for strategic optionality both for the companies as well as ourselves.
as I said, our focus is early to growth stage fintechs. Why that stage? Because this is the stage in the development of a company where the mutual benefit for us, for them, is highest. So the essence of our strategy is one of collaboration and partnership. And uh, if anyone's listening who is an innovative entrepreneur out there, I might just call you after this meeting. Collaboration and partnership is something that is also core to our overall product offering. So Deutsche Börse has, of course, a tradition, its origin in the investment space. We believe very firmly that good ideas should be turned into big, scaled enterprises. We also know, and I think everyone in this room knows, that Europe has not been particularly good at doing exactly this. The United States has been much better at turning garage companies into globally market-leading multinationals. This is our challenge, of course, to continue to make innovation work but that's not where it should stop. There has to be commercial success derived from such innovation. <clears throat> As a function of that, therefore, we've created a pre-IPO collaboration platform that allows startups to have better capital market access. This platform is labeled Deutsche Börse Venture Network, we are actually here at NOAA. There's a stand outside. I know the colleagues are eager to talk to you. Show up, there's free coffee. And uh, they are uh, very talkative, so you'll get a lot more information from them. This, this new offer, I think, in our program strengthens the value proposition that we have as a firm as a powerful financial network for our customers. It just makes it easier for our customers to access VC. Think of it as a cloud. Think of it as a cloud of opportunity for investors and entrepreneurs. It nicely extends our value chain into the pre-IPO space. Today, of course, a powerful financial network ought to transcend national frontiers. It also ought to include all the relevant players in the system, from politics, regulators, press, investors, universities, research, and so on. Why is that? It is in order to increase the transparency, efficiency, and security of those transactions happening on an electronified, digitized platform. Since its inception in uh, June of 2015, we've raised roughly a billion euros for those small startup companies. Uh, the first uh, IPO has even rolled off of uh, one of those DBVN uh, companies recently. So I think Deutsche Börse as a group in the ecosystem that we are so happy to be part of, we plan to build on our strength in the networks business as well as in the operation of marketplaces. Allow me to conclude by saying that we aim to, and I think we do, create an ecosystem of new market opportunities for ourselves, of course, our stakeholders, and our customers. And we do this in a deep spirit of collaboration. Thanks very much for listening. Enjoy the day.